Got to get your rest before the big championship here. And Andrew has entered the Western Pleasure. All right. And he is feeling confident. He is confident he's going to get the gold. Have you been in your pajamas all day? Oh, my gosh. And guess what? Congratulations. Your horse experts all around the world agree that Freya has the perfect temperament. Yes. We are going to enter the ultimate competition this horse is in a positive mood which slightly improves the chance of winning all right here we go we're gonna cross our fingers Hello, all you fabulous and wonderful people. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more of the Ultimate Decades Challenge. So we are currently on Friday. It is the last quarter of 1374. Tomorrow we'll be going into 1375. So last time we did have little David who made it through and has aged up into our first child. He has now 28 sim days until he is a teen or we can see until he is going to be a teen so the next birthday that we have i believe is little kenrick he ages up in 10 days and Catherine ages up in 15 so we have those so this episode i really hope to finish out his championship rider aspiration so we just need to win one more gold so in the last episode, we did try to win the gold and we failed. We won silver. <laughs> so I think it was because Andrew's mood was not great. It was he was sad from having lost his mother. So now he is happy and Freya is fine. Her skills are all to 10 except for her temperament. It is 73% complete so we just have a little bit further i would like to try and get that fully to 10 before we go and compete in this last master horse competition maybe that will ensure us that she'll get gold i think it is completely random if you win or not i mean i've had her skills be way low and we take the gold and then i've had them be higher and we fail so i don't know we'll just have to see and then tomorrow is saturday so we'd really need to try and place at the ultimate horse championship if we fail this <laughs> We basically have to wait until the following Saturday. I think a long while ago when you guys suggested why not move her in to another house and you can still use her. So maybe we do that. If we happen to fail on Saturday, we can always maybe give her to Randolph who's at our mother's house and then we could still use her in the competition, but we could take on the kids then. So I don't want to wait a long time. I would like to have the three kids with us as soon as possible. So we'll see. In my dream world, we get the gold today and then we place in the ultimate championship tomorrow and then we move the kids into our house. So and then we can sell off Freya for some money. We right now only have just under 7,000 simoleons. She is worth quite a bit. Let me see. I think she's like 30 some. Yeah, 37,550 simoleons, quite a bit. It will be enough to kind of redo this house a little bit and expand it for more children. So we'll just have to see. Right now, in order to raise her temperament, I know we just need to spend time with her doing some things. I see her energy is low, so it is definitely best to not take her to the competition right this second. So I think what she needs to do is do some resting. Everything's ex excellent except for her hunger. So her hunger is good. We can hand feed her some prairie grass. Maybe if we just leave her be, she'll take a snooze. We'll just tell her a joke and scratch her neck and we will whisper to her. Maybe we can do a couple of things with her, but I want her to get some rest before we go on a competition here. And I think we're going to let her get some rest. I'm going to have him come in here. I don't know that we took care of the... I think David took care of all the animals here. Oh, it is slightly dirty. Maybe I will 
have him come do it. Or maybe I'll just let him get something to eat. Let's get him something to eat. Oh, he's going to Herod to take care of the chickens, I think. He was running here. Maybe David didn't do a very good job. Let's see how our laundry is doing here. They're used and dry. She can put that away. And then we'll add some flowers to this and see if we can't do the laundry right quick. And he's going out to water the garden. What a good kid. He wants to eat snacks, y'all. He wants to eat snacks. Okay, you want to eat the snacks. He is tired. Why are you not just going to bed, yo? Go to sleep. And you, my friend, need to come use this potty and go to sleep is what you need to do. And now she be uncomfortable. Yeah, you need to go to sleep. I really wish we could have her just go to sleep. All you gotta do is go to sleep. Oh my gosh, I really wish I could control her. And we can't do anything. Okay, she has finally gone to sleep. Oh yes, this is what we wanna see. She wants to sleep. We gotta get your rest. Gotta get your rest before the big championship here. And guess what? Andrew is feeling cheerful. All right. He has embraced his change. He is cheerful and is very confident is what he is. Yes. And I don't know what we're doing out here, but yo, Andrew, you need to come discipline your son. Oh my goodness. He being naughty, yo. He do be being naughty. We got to discipline him. We're going to be firm. And we're going to tell him not to make a mess. <gasps> David, you can't do that. You can't. You cannot make a mess. And he's just like, yeah, David, you can't do this. You really can't. And can we order? We're going to order him to clean it up. We're going to influence him to clean up mess. He's like, come on, David. Why don't you just clean up this mess here? Clean it up. He's like, okay, I will. I'll be right on that. So it does look like she is excellent. Okay, so her fun is a little low, but it's good. We're going to come and wake her up. And then we are going to go. He's feeling very confident. Why are we sad now? Why are we sad? I do not know why she is sad. We're going to cheer her up. And we're going to tell her a joke. And we're going to ask her what's wrong. Horses with the free spirit trait prefer to be outdoors. So getting some fresh air should help her with her mood. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and mount her. And we're going to take her out of this pen here. That's the only way this is custom content and it's locked for horses. So the only way to get her out is by getting on her and coming out. And we will trot here. Okay. And we are going to... Can we just dismount, yo? Dismount. We are going to have to go if we want to compete. So we're going to head over and compete. I know she's sad. Maybe she'll get out of it by the time we're there. All right. And she's fine. I had a feeling that once we traveled with her, she would get out of the mood. And she is. She's fine now. So we are going to come over here. Where is it? Right here. And we will go ahead and enter a competition. So we've gotten gold in all of these. So it really doesn't matter. Maybe we will try the Western Pleasure. Let's try that. So we meet everything. So let's go there. Try that. And Andrew has entered the Western Pleasure. All right. And he is feeling confident. He is confident he's going to get the gold. And yes, we have placed. We have got gold. Yes, your horse demonstrated superb grace and calm responsiveness to earn the coveted position of first place. Nothing stands in your way now. All competitors look on with respect and admiration for you as the triumphant winner of the Western Pleasure Master Division. Yay! We got that. So tomorrow, all we have to do is place first, second, or third in the ultimate horse championship. All right. We can go home now. All right. So I'm just going to have him spend a little time raising her temperament. We don't have that much further to go. She is at almost there. She is now at 79%. So I'm just going to have him be doing all of the things to raise her temperament here. We'll go to horse skills and a temperament and we can talk about social life. And we can just the secret lives of animals. And we can compliment her temperament because it is so very high. It is very nice. 
And we can ask about dealing with other sims. He's just gonna talk to her for a little while. So Freya, tell me all the secrets. I wanna know what are the secret lives of animals. Please tell me. And let's see how she's doing. I did forget about this dang laundry, yo. I did. Clean and soaked. I am shocked. All right. Oh, I can't believe it. They're not pristine, but they're not awful either. Freya seems bashful, but proud with such a compliment. Aw, that's nice. And why are you tense? Oh, little David. He's like, there's a crying toddler in the house. I can't be here the world would be so much better if the crying would just stop oh my gosh he does not like little Catherine crying how'd the horse get in here yo how did the horse get in here and now she is out he's going to check on the toddler okay she's going to go have some fun it does it is a little bit low tomorrow is a competition he's gonna have to get up early so to do some things he's just gonna go to bed right now and she is out here David never cleaned it up and his mother came out here and is cleaning it up I'm gonna have her go ahead and read Kenrick to sleep this one is now coming out to mop up that oh he's mopping out here yo he do be mopping out here he is hungry why are you not eating i'm shocked and here she is she's just gonna tell her son a little story and get him to go to sleep oh my gosh this little boy is so adorable oh this one is hungry she's gonna come in and grab some leftover or the meat have you been in your pajamas all day oh my gosh this little girl has been in her pajamas all day she's gonna eat but she's gonna sit here and sing a song to a little david and she is gonna hug him and give him a kiss and she's going to get her food and put it coming in here. And I think she is wanting to come and check on the toddler. Oh, we have this bug again where her hand is stuck in that position. And he is just standing there. He needs to go to the bathroom and get himself to bed is what he needs to do. And here is stepmom and stepson just sitting here eating some meat and cheese before they go to bed. And she is level three in the communication. Oh, she do be angry because she's so tired. And her mom is like, yes, my daughter, she is so smart. She is. Why are you not eating this, yo? And I'm going to have Sarah. She is talking to Catherine. She's going to read Catherine to sleep. She's going to eat while her mama tells her a story. She's like, Mama, I'm still hungry. I'm still hungry. You read me the story, but I'm going to eat. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and now we get a notification. Mini Sheep is getting on in years. Okay, well, maybe we can get rid of them. Where are you going, yo? Where are you going? You're going to listen to the story out here, yo? Why? Why don't you go to bed? Where are you going? <gasps> oh, goodness gracious, yo. All right, well... Is she going to do push-ups? She surely is. Guess what? She lack fitness. Oh, why am I not surprised? She's going to use this, and then she's just going to go to bed. Little Catherine just got out of the bed while she reading the story. Oh, so she's just putting herself to bed now. I was just curious to see what her and David's relationship is like. So if I come here, oh, open hearted. Sarah feels close to a recent addition to the family. David, a warm welcome. I think from aging up maybe, but he is her dependent. They're good friends. This is a solid relationship and childhood buds. Okay, a neutral relationship with an ally. Wait, uh, what? How ally sibling is your stepmother, yo? Is your stepmother? Why? That's weird. And they have all gone off to bed. And at two in the morning, guess what? He is up and he is ready to go. He's like, yes, I'm so nervous from this for the, about this competition. I'm just gonna get up to bed now and take care of everything. I might have him go hunting because I don't think that we have any salted. Me we do have salted meat. We have two. It's always nice to have it on hand, though. I feel like we go through the salted meat so quick. So I think I'm going to have him go hunting since it is 2.30 in the morning. And here, Andrew got up so very early. He thinks he's going to go hunting and get some, hopefully, some rabbit meat. All right, so I will have him go ahead and go to the forest. He can go hunting. Maybe I'll also send him to the docks and just get some sea salt. So we just have it on hand. And at five in the morning, this little girl is feeling very playful. And she's going to go wake up her brother. No, you're not. Oh, no, you're not. I'm going to have her go back to sleep. She actually is not rested, yo. 
She not be rested. Why are you feeling so playful? You're not even rested. And I'm gonna get Sarah up here and she is gonna come down here and start making bread and such. Oh, she do be feeling feeling uncomfortable from the dirty surroundings. She is gonna come here and get, make some cheese and he is getting up to go clean up. So I'm gonna let him, he's going to clean up. Finally, the next day, David is cleaning up his mess and I'm gonna have him feed the chickens and he can go ahead and collect the eggs and she is feeling very inspired this morning. So she is gonna make some nice cheese. And we got a hatchable egg, I see. Do we have a full coop? I do think, oh no, we don't. Okay, so we do have room to hatch this egg. So I'll have him go ahead and incubate that in the coop. And we did get five eggs, which is always nice. And it does look like she got the cheese done. I'm just gonna replace this. This is, pantry is broke. We'll say we repaired it. Actually, I wanted to change this. So I'm not real happy with this pantry. So it's been driving me nuts. I actually forgot about it for a split second, but I think I'm going to get rid of this and get something else. So this is the one that I have. It is the cottage living version, but I feel like I have another one that I could get that I can put my own food on. Uh, we don't have to worry about it having to be repaired. So this one has inspiring decor five. So I think I'm gonna get that here, okay? And we'll just get rid of this one. So I am gonna put this here like so. There we go. The other one I have to keep filling with ice. Okay, so this one I don't. This one I do not need to fill with ice. That was what was driving me crazy is because I had to keep filling it with ice and I didn't like it. I might just end up changing this whole thing, but for now I got this. So I'm gonna have her come over here and we are gonna go ahead and make some bread. And Andrew is about to come back with some salt, some salt water. I'm gonna have him go ahead and get rid of this. We can't. Andrew does not own this item. Who owns this item then, yo? Who owns this item exactly? Actions, trade for, Sarah does not own this item. So see, they don't own these sheeps. I, okay, so I think these are not our sheep and goats, okay? I think they belong to his dad is, and they came with us for whatever reason, but we cannot get rid of them, all right? It says that we do not own them. Andrew does not own this item. Yo, we gonna have to let him just die. Well, I'm gonna have him then come over here to this one. How is she doing? We gotta get her ready for competition. Okay, her hygiene is good. So we will come over here. We're going to uh, brush her coat. We'll put this in our inventory here. Also, I wanted to sell these things here for 390 smolians. I'm gonna have him cut up this all of this meat. I'll leave the duck. I'm gonna give the salt to Sarah there. And also gonna give her this fertilizer. There we go. I think she was stuck on this ball so we couldn't do anything. So let's see if we can do it now. Yeah, well now we're gonna do it. And this is the ball from the game, y'all. This is not custom content and it's still bugged out. And here he is, just gonna get her ready for the big competition today. It's the ultimate horse championship. And let me see what her temperament is at now. It is 84% complete. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to raise that a bit more. So I'm gonna do all of the social stuff under the temperament here just to raise it. And she thinks she's gonna go harvest some stuff. Um, No, we were not gonna harvest some stuff. How many servings are left? There's only one of those left. We're gonna have her make some sea salt. Oh, he crossed out everything. This is why I have to stay on him. He crosses the stuff out to go tend to his kids. And I I mean, it's a nice gesture, but we got, we got things to do here, yo. Why you be doing that? <laughs> No, I want you to spend time with Freya, okay? Talk to her. He's confident. Ooh, that's good. And guess what? Kenrick loves books. Kenrick seems particularly fond of books. Okay, so he do, he do like him some books. And we're gonna talk to her and we'll scratch her neck. 
And Rubberneck, she's almost there. I was thinking about one that, okay, keep looking for it. All right, just keep looking for it. And we'll clean her hooves. We'll hug her again. I'm wondering if this encourage to train will help her. Encourage training. Her energy is good. Freya, Freya can feel Andrew's passion and resolves to give it his all when training. All right. And wait a minute. Let's see what your temperament is now. Yo, it's 93% complete. We only have a little bit more. Come back here. We'll tell her a joke. And we will also do some discussing the secret lives of the animals. <laughs> tell her a joke. Yo, quick. She's almost there. Discuss the origins of the universe. And scratch her neck. Quick. We've almost got it. She's a little bit hungry. So we'll go ahead and she's dirty. we we'll brush her, her neck. And we will hand feed her some prairie grass. And guess what? Congratulations! Your horse experts all around the world agree that Frey has the perfect temperament. <gasps> yes! And she is confident. We're gonna go try this mat, the ultimate horse championship, because I was reading and it's good to have her confident so they're sure to win, all right? So we are gonna go. All right, and they're still both very confident. I was afraid it was gonna go away when we traveled, but it did not. All right, quick, come here. We are going to enter the ultimate competition right here. Yes, we everything's checked off. She's confident. She's got a star by her. This horse is in a positive mood, which slightly improves the chance of winning. All right, here we go. We're gonna cross our fingers. It doesn't matter, first, second, or third. That's all she needs to do. And victory! Oh, we won first place? Oh, congratulations, you have earned the title of ultimate champion. Well, thank you. This achievement is a testament to your hard work talent, and stellar relationship with your horse. Yes, it is. You stand proudly in front of the cheering crowd knowing that you and your horse will go down in history as one of the greats. Oh, yes. And we got 6,000 simoleons. That's fantastic. All right. It wasn't easy. Andrew had to spend a lot of time and commitment with horses and his own horse riding skill. There was numerous victories and disappointments along the way. Oh, there sure was. But finally, his dream of becoming a championship rider is real. Oh, we we gained the Grand Champ Trainer. These sims train horse skills faster and sell horses for higher prices. Ooh. Inspire confidence in themselves and their horse when riding and training and almost always have a good time when riding. In fact, they are so good with horses that horses have even more fun when being ridden by them. They can also give competition advice to aspiring riders. Ooh, I like that. So we have completed it. We are done. All right, we're gonna go back home now. So do we have any buffs down here? Friendship is magic from being around a motivating horse. Andrew feels inspired to succeed when near this champion horseship horse. Ah, uh, happy as a horse. Seeing a hat horse happy makes Andrew happy. They are kindred spirits after all. Oh, so I said I would sell her, yo. I said I was gonna sell her. She is worth 46,000, yo. Oh my gosh. She's worth a lot of money and she is going to be aging up into an elder in five days. So she's not gonna have a lot longer much to live. We really do need the money to make this house bigger because we're gonna be taking on some kids. Oh, I feel so bad though. We just got her to championship. I really hate to do this, Freya, to you, but we really need to. We gotta go get our siblings here. So it's a sad day. We're gonna sell Freya. Oh, and farewell, Freya. Are you sure you want to sell Freya? You will receive payment and this horse will leave the household. Yes. Freya has been sold and a payment was received in the household funds. Yo, we got 70,000 simoleons now. Selling horses can be a business in its own right, especially if a sim is a grand champ trainer and has the most sought after horses. I mean, we might eventually come back to doing this, but right now we are about to have a full house. So what I am gonna do is 
We are gonna go ahead and move in our siblings. So in order to do that, we need to get them all over here, right? We need to get Colette over here. So we'll invite her to the lot and we'll need to get Hugh over here and we'll need to get Archibald over here. And we're just going to add them into our family. All right. So here is little Colette. She is coming in. Okay. So they're all over here. I'm just going to cheat it in. And we're going to add her to our family. And we're going to add little Q to our family. And little Archibald is now going to be our family. Where is... Oh, he's not here yet. Why can I add him? I just saw it. I just had the option. At first, it didn't give it to me. Okay, add the family. All right. We are full house again. We have everybody here. We have little Colette, who is inspired by the decor. So I'm going to have Andrew go ahead and adopt or take custody, right? Relationship. Change relationship. Adopt as care dependent. And little Hugh, who's come into here. We're going to go ahead and adopt as care dependent. And little Archibald, who is right here, will go ahead and adopt as care dependent. Now, he should be able to discipline and such with them, right? He can give the family kiss. He's like, hello, my sister. It's so good to have you finally over. We have enough money to take care of y'all. My my brother. It's so weird to see him. He's so much older. Okay, so little Colette here has four days until she ages up into a team. I'm gonna have him come over here and he is going to hug his little brother here. Oh, and they're giving another little hug on their own. Oh, I love it. It's so good. Oh, he telling him a joke. Oh, he keeps hugging him. Archie Bolt's so happy. Why did we get a negative, yo? Oh, his confidence is boosted. She's like, brother, don't be sad. I know mom's gone, but big brother's gonna take care of us now. And his lovely wife. Oh my gosh, this is what you do your first day here and you're gonna make a mess? No. I wonder if she can adopt them too uh, as care dependents. Oh, we can welcome Archibald to household. That's nice. I didn't know you could do that. She's like, hey, I wanna welcome you here. Archibald. Archibald. He's too busy making a mess. She's like, welcome home, brother-in-law. I can't wait to explore the place. It's a whole new adventure. Yeah, you got a whole new adventure, the both of you. Oh my God, you're making a mess over here too. Yeah, your whole new adventure is waiting for you to be cleaned up right here. Okay, let's see if she can make him clean it up. She can adopt him as a care dependent as well. I'm wondering though, I'm gonna see... Okay, yeah, we don't have any other options to make him clean it up. She's going to adopt as care dependent. Does that take it away from David or from Andrew? Let me just see once if he still has it. Can they both have it is what I'm wondering. Yeah, they both can have it. All right, because he still has the remove. So I'm going to have Sarah as well adopt Colette. We will go ahead and adopt him as care dependent. Because now I think she can discipline him. Yep, we can discipline his behavior. So we're going to do calm. Since they just moved in, we're going to just ask not to make a mess. And we're going to come over here. And we are just going to ask her not to make a mess. She's like, come on. I know what you're going through with your mom. But you could you just not make a mess, please? Oh, we got the sea salt here. We'll put that on her. Did you discipline this one? I don't think... I think she crossed it out, yo. We're going to influence little Colette here to clean up the mess. Maybe we can ask Archibald here to help clean up. Oh, little Hugh. Oh, uh, little Hugh has come to clean up his brother's mess. Oh, okay. And we'll put that in here. I am going to have her go ahead and make some pantry food since we have all these children she's gonna need to put some meat and stuff out andrew here is going to oh i really value he's spending time with david right now we're gonna ask for some cleaning we're gonna ask to help clean and selling freya did not really bother him from selling her he did it you're so fun to be around. She is just loving this time with her her uh, brother-in-laws here. So let's see. Little Archibald is going to... He has a long time. He's closer to David's age. He's a, he's a bit older, but he's like just a bit older. 
And this one has is about halfway through his childhood. I think for now, what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to just move these toddlers upstairs. I'm going to put them all in here. Well, the toddlers. Actually, we only have the two. And we'll put this one here. And we'll put this here. There we go. And then we have some potty chairs that we can put out. We do have toys downstairs. I'm gonna get some rugs. I think I will just decorate this a little bit and then I'll show you guys what I've got. Okay, so let me show you what I have done. So I did add in this bear rug for Andrew and Sarah here. So I just thought we could use this maybe. We can snuggle and spend a little time on it or whatever. I thought maybe it's a bear rug they'd have definitely have bearskin rugs right at this time <gasps> i do see we have dirty laundry under the bed they do be hiding all the laundry let me just pull these out really quick <gasps> oh how terrible are these sims yo okay i think we got it all anyways so the toddler's room i added a window because it was so dark in here and then i just put their beds like this and i put up a little bit of toys what i had for medieval cc so we got this little bear going on and some wooden toys Maybe Andrew made them, and then we got a little toy over here. Even though this rocking horse does not work, I still got it. So they can't, he can't do anything with it anymore. I don't know what's changed, but I might try and re-download it. We'll see. But yeah, so this is the toddler's room, and then the children's room is right here. I did have make it a bit bigger, so I pulled it out to be the same level as this washroom. I also did add a door here for them all to get to it a bit easier. I was gonna put up bunk beds, but I only have one set of bunk beds apparently, and I don't like how they look. I, I think they've got a bit of money now, so I want it to look a little bit nicer, so I don't want just went with this. Oh, I was gonna add in a window because it is a little bit dark. So maybe I will add in a window like right here. I also did get a little activity table because Colette does have the artistic prodigy. So I will have her be working on that for a little bit. Maybe she'll like painting, who knows? Obviously she made a mess over here. I also did get rid of the horse things. I mean, we still have a stable, but I did get rid of all the other horse things just temporarily. I put it into our family inventory. I didn't sell it, but I think the rest of this house, I off camera may change it around and fill it in and make it look real nice. We have a lot of smolians. Now I know we do need to have some money like what, 5,000 smolians for Colette to get married or even little Catherine when she comes of age, if she makes it. So we wanna reserve some of this money, but we have quite a bit to play around with. So I might change things around off camera cause it will take me a long time. And yeah, I don't wanna be recording all of that. It's just gonna take a long time. Maybe I'll add in some more animals or I'll definitely make this garden a bit bigger. But now we have all of these children here with us and we've gone ahead and adopted them as our care dependents. All right, you guys, I do think I am gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So in the next episode, we will, I really don't know whose birthday is gonna be next. It is gonna be Colette's on Wednesday. So we'll be having that come down the line. I'm not sure what we'll be doing from now on. We did complete our aspiration and all of that is done, which makes me super happy. I am thinking about getting the crystal creations pack and doing that with Sarah. Now that we have a full house, we can't have any more babies until we start moving some of these out when they become of age, if they live. But until then, we all need something to do, right? And make a way of making money. I'm a little concerned about getting that pack just because I know it was so buggy and I don't want it to ruin my gameplay. But at the same time, I really think that it will be cool for Sarah to make some jewelry and sell it and maybe Andrew can help her because I did give the background of her being coming from a jeweler's family. So her parents are jewelers. So maybe she would get into jewelry making. I think it would be fun to try. You guys will have to let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below and see. Maybe we'll be doing that with Sarah. So I think that's gonna be it for this episode. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, it would be amazing if you did. And also don't forget to click the little bell to get notified whenever I have a video go up. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.